quite right. It's a way of life. My husband would attest to that. <laughs> It's just like having a great big family really and the family is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger each year which is which is super. Lazy day, lazy. I can't describe it really, it just makes you feel so good. You know you can um, come in from a day's work into a room where there's 70 women and you know if you've had a really bad day and you really don't feel like going to rehearsal you certainly come out of it at the other end feeling you know do you know what I'm really glad I went because you've got the support of that extra family. of barbershop really started in um, in America in the barber shops where one guy would go in and he would maybe take a harmonica or take a, a, a banjo or something off the wall he'd start singing a song and then the other guys would actually come around him and start harmonizing so there were many songs that were born just just anything you know kind of songs like just a song at twilight or songs that were very easy to harmonize to So in a typical barbershop arrangement, there are four harmony parts. There's the lead who sings the melody, the bass who sings um, the bottom notes. You've got tenor going up really high, and then you've got a barry, which I am, with the filler notes. So we, we just sing weird things in the middle of uh, everyone else. The American Society started in 1938. Um, so they've just celebrated their 75th year um, and then Labs was born after Babs. Babs is the men's association and then Labs was born after the um, men's association by not much. And I think the girls saw, saw the guys having so much fun that they decided we don't want to miss out on any of this and see my mum and dad sing and now my children sing too and it's just great for them, it's a great hobby. My name's Amy Burns and I'm representing the Youth Development um, Programme of the Ladies' Association of British Barbershop Singers. Nowadays, people are taking more modern songs, uh, which is great, and obviously it attracts um, younger people as well if we take more modern songs. I think what we need to snap out of is the fact that people think that it's still a bit straw boat and stripy blazer. Actually, one of the great things about Labs is that we've got a youth group, and so if you are coming in and you know you're you are younger, actually we help you to meet people your age because we've got somewhere for you to go and to you know to sing with people who are your age from all over the country, really. It's lovely seeing the young people come through and inspire, but of course, being ladies, we like to see the young men. <laughs> You don't need to read music, but you just come along and you find a part that you sing. We sing four-part harmony, so there's usually a part that you can find that suits your voice. I think what makes a good barbershop group is a group that's really, really kind of welcoming. When you start, they really make you want to stay, um, and I think. That does help if you've got people who you can connect with. So the kind of vocal preparation we do for our rehearsals, a lot of the girls actually will sing in the car on the way. Uh, and there's some great little apps you can get nowadays for iPhone and Android and stuff, which is uh, just little vocal warm-up apps, some scales, some arpeggios, that kind of thing, which is great because it actually means that they start warming up before they get to rehearsal. Um, things not to do in barbershop singing is being be uh, emotionless actually come and have some fun and smile and and let your enjoyment of singing show on your face um, 
you don't you don't want to be a light bulb that's turned off. You want to be a light bulb that's turned on. Barbershop groups or singers that you should look out for, the White Rosettes, um, definitely. They're kind of the top of um, the lab's um, singers, really. Uh, Pizzazz as well, they're an absolute great quartet. Um, over in America, uh, Lunch Break, um, our guys' quartet, who are really, really funny. And also uh, the Lemon Squeezer guys, who are actually from Sweden. Um, just They're just great to watch um, and sing some really contemporary songs um, in a very chilled out way, which is nice. When we're not in competition and we come out and we have a drink at the bar or a cup of coffee, people love to get together in small groups or even a whole chorus. And even if you don't belong to the chorus, it doesn't matter because you can join in with their songs. We just love singing. We sing tags, we sing ballads, we sing up tempos. And these little groups probably don't even know each other very well, but they get together and the song brings them together. Fantastic. I do lots of things with Barbershop. We do education days and quartet weekends, all sorts of things. It's fantastic, keeps us happy. So if you want to get involved in Barbershop, I'd suggest you go and look at the lab's website. Um, they'll tell you about your local um, barbershop groups, but also it'll tell you if you are a youth, so that's under 30 in barbershop, um, so uh, you can go on and see where the youth um, are going to be kind of meeting and um, singing together next. I've had a horrifically long weekend this weekend, starting on Thursday, late nights, very early mornings, and I feel great, and I should be dying on my feet. <laughs> I do think barbershop um, singing is unique. It is such a group of people who come together, and it is very supportive, um, and you make so many friends. You know, there's so much involved to making a good a good ring and a good chord um, and you know you have to work quite closely together to be able to do that. I have friends who've had cancer and the, the friendship they've got through singing barbershop has helped them and kept them together. <laughs> it almost makes me want to cry when I think about some of the people that I, I do believe singing has helped. It, keep, it holds us together, it keeps us in friendship groups. We help each other and we support each other and anybody in a chorus would get total support from whoever they sing with. We go home with such happy memories, lots of singing in our hearts, just amazing. It's a wonderful hobby, sorry, way of life. <laughs>